Hi friends, in this video I will show you one of the Windows Utility tool that gives you many options to optimize and troubleshoot many of your Windows problems. This is a free tool that is available and you can install it and enjoy it. So without wasting time, let's move on. So to start with, you have to open your favorite browser and search for Glary services or Glary utilities. You will get it here. Just open it and just open the first link. From here, you will get a utility for Windows uh, PC that is Glary Utility 6. Then click on free download. Just wait for the download to be completed. Now once that is completed, just run this application and install it and click on install. So wait till the installation is complete. Now click on finish and open the application. You can see that the basic features, the overview of your system is available in the front view. You can see that the windows boot time of my laptop is 11 seconds that is pretty good you can see that it is 97 percentage faster than other users from here you can see that there are many options on the left side i'll take you through it one by one before we go to the next stage you can see that there are some options with the uh, name pro available there is a pro version of uh, this particular software professional version of it which will enable you to deep cleaning and fixing the system and it will do the automatic maintenance and few other things which is not much required if you are that core person who is into connected with the internet and other services then you might require to check the maintenance of your PC time to time so in that case you can go for a pro version so from here just move to the startup manager from here it will list all the startup programs, scheduled tasks, plugins, application services and Windows services and from here the startup programs you can see that how many programs are currently available in your PC and how many are up and running right now. So you have 29 uh, programs and 9 is enabled. If you find something is not required then you can turn that disable it from here itself. For example if I don't want OneDrive setup just go and disable this entry. Remember that anytime you can come back to this particular application and you can enable it easily from here. So from there you can move to the scheduled tasks. Here you can see that out of 25 tasks, there are 8 tasks that is scheduled and you can enable and disable whichever you don't want or like. Now from here you can move to the plugins. You can enable and disable the plugins. Application services. You can see that there are a lot of application services running on the background. For example, if you don't want the VPN to be run on the background, you can disable it. Now the next tab is for Windows services. Here you can see that there, there are 280 services available and 68 of them are running right now. In this utility you can see the current status and you can disable or enable the services. So once you have done everything with your startup manager, you can close down this window. It will take back to the main interface. Now from here, just click on maintenance. Here you have the option for registry cleaner, disk repair, track erasers, temporary file cleaner and the startup manager obviously which we have done. You can look for all these issues with a single click. Just click on the button scan for the issues. Cool right, it will detect all the registry issues, the shortcut fixes, temporary file cleaners and all other with related to the maintenance. You can check the disk repair tool and track erase and do a refresh. You can see here that uh, there are some 50 issues with uh, my registry because I am doing a lot of changes with the registry. So obviously it should reflect. So if you want to repair all these issues, you can just click on repair issues. And I'm not doing this because I, I need the changes which I currently have done with the registry. 
So in your case, if you want all the fixes to be done with a single click, just click on repair issues and it will be all cleared. Now from here, just move to the cleanup and repair. Now here you have many options like fuse cleanup, shortcuts, fixes, empty folders and finders, uninstall manager, registry repair, duplicate file finder and context menu manager. Now you can do it one by one if you want. Many of the options from this section is already considered and click maintenance one click from where you have already cleared few of them. For example, if you go back and see that many of them has been already detected and is waiting for repair. So if you don't want one click maintenance to be done, then you can come here and do it one by one. Now from there, just move to the optimize and improve section. From here, you can optimize the memory. You can do the same startup manager, which we have already done in the initial stage. So just go to the memory optimizer and you can fix how the memory to be optimized. So move the slider to make the memory free and just click on optimize. Now once that is done, you can click on OK. Now just go to the system tools from here you can uh, there are options like system information registry backup you just restore repair system files system backup system restore and uh, changes undo changes so some of them are done in the first section itself on the maintenance section if you want to repair your system files you can just go and repair the system files from here it will take a lot of time to complete the process so you can do it one by one. So ultimately say that this is a cool software which is very helpful for any Windows 11 users and it is available for free for use. So I'm 100% sure that this particular utility is going to help you a lot in your day-to-day -day working condition. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.